with cutting-edge technology of Korea. With Han Jin's passion for global peace. Now, we are beginning a new voyage for the future. Han Jin Heavy Industries and Construction. Now, more than ever, there is an urgent need for massive landing ships as a national level approach required to counter a possible natural disaster stemming from global warming. In order to minimize casualties of troop and amphibious equipment in landing operations, over-the-horizon assault capability using amphibious hovercrafts and helicopters and enlargement of hull platform are crucial for modern landing operations. Hanjin Heavy Industries and Construction boasts a military shipyard that has launched about 700 naval ships, including approximately 60 landing ships since the early 1970s, when it was nominated as a defense industrial company. We have built various naval ships from fast patrol boats to frigates and landing ships from hovercrafts to LPH. With this expertise in naval ships, Hanjin has developed 19,000 ton class LPH for the Korean Navy and 55 ton lifting capacity amphibious hovercraft LSF-2 for LPH. And those ships were successfully delivered to the Korean Navy in mid-2007. Equipped with multiple functions of helicopter loaded assault LPH, landing enforcement transport LPD, and command control LCC, the Tokto is a state-of-the-art multi-purpose transporting ship and aircraft carrier type hull that has a flat flight deck and an island house. The Tokto is 199.4 meters long, 31.4 meters wide, 20 meters deep, and full displacement of 14,000 tons. It can carry 424 crewmen, 560 landing forces for normal case, and up to 720 marines. The vessel can sail at a maximum speed of 23 knots. To avoid detection from the enemy at a time of conflict, the latest stealth technology for control of radar cross-section, and strict signature control for infrared, and underwater radiation noise are applied to the ship design. The Tokto is also equipped with two CIWS closed-in weapon systems, a SAM surface-to-air anti-missile, one CHAF, and one Nixie for omnidirectional self-defense. Four CH-60 class helicopters and one CH-53 class helicopter can land and take off on the flight deck at the same time. The hangar in the vehicle deck can accommodate four CH-60 class helicopters. The well deck can be operated both in dry and wet conditions, meaning it can accommodate hovercrafts or displacement type landing ships such as LCU and LCM. The vehicle deck is capable of carrying six main battle tanks, seven amphibious assault vehicles, ten five-ton trucks and three field artilleries simultaneously. The wheelhouse, aviation control center, and flag bridge are arranged in a way that the crew has no difficulty in securing a field of vision. The command center is designed to command and control the amphibious task force and the naval task force. Another aim of the command center is to command and control supporting troops, such as ships and aircrafts, in real time. The medical area serves for crews as a dispensary at normal times and it will be used as a field hospital during landing operation and emergency situations. Facilities on the deck, two elevators for helicopters and side ramps are arranged so they could fully serve their purposes. The living area includes some convenient facilities such as a snack bar, a gym and a computer room. It also provides the crew and landing forces with their own comfortable onboard living as a living complex. Two engine rooms have four diesel engines of rating about 10,000 horsepower and two codads. At low speed, two of the diesel engines are in operation and four of them run at maximum speed. 
The most prominent feature of the Tokdo is its capability of over-the-horizon landing operation by helicopters and two amphibious hovercrafts on board the well deck, which is in the rear part of the vehicle deck. This shows the ship-to-shore and shore-to-ship operation view of two LSFs, which are intended to be loaded on LPX. This hovercraft LSF-2 on the Tokdo was also developed independently and delivered to the Korean Navy by Hanjin in April of 2007. LSF-2 is an upgraded version of hovercraft LSF-1 with a 26-ton payload, which was developed by Hanjin in 1989. LSF-2 has a 55-ton lifting capacity to carry one main battle tank or two AAV amphibious armored vehicles. The buoyancy structure of LSF-2 is made up of aluminum alloy and rubber-coated fabric. Bag and finger-type skirt holds lifting state of the craft. The craft is 26.8 meters long, 14.3 meters wide at hovering conditions, 168 square meter deck size, and the full load weight is 155 tons. A fully loaded LSF-2 can run at a speed of more than 40 knots, is capable of 6 degree climbing, and passable to 1.5 meter high obstacles. The LSF-2 has a wide vehicle deck. The deck carries vehicles and PTMs, and each of them accommodates more than 126 fully armed troops. And there are lamps to help vehicles move without any difficulties. The machinery space is classified into lifting gear space, auxiliary room, two engine rooms and propulsion gear space. Engine rooms at each side of the craft have two combined gas turbines, which provide power to hovering and propelling of the craft. The aero propeller system consists of a propeller duct and variable pitch wooden propeller. The lifting fans are aluminum dual centrifugal type. The gas turbines, which provide power to propel the craft and make it hover, are installed in separate engine rooms in order to minimize the effect of possible damage to one of them. These are the lift fan and bow thruster of LSF-2. The bow thruster is a low profile type which uses five nozzles to minimize propelling power loss and weight saving. As you can see, what keeps the ship afloat is the lift fans. It injects air into a rubber skirt at the lower part of the craft. The cockpit house carries three crewmen and one landing force commander. For self-defense purposes, it is equipped with 20 millimeter guns and a canopy. With endless challenges toward the future and pioneering spirit toward state-of-the-art technologies, Hanjin is standing at the center of the great Korean Navy. And we are confident that the Tokdo's contributions to the Korean Navy in the maritime era will make Korea play an essential role between its friendly nations. We are sure that the Tokdo will contribute to global peace by serving in refugee evacuation peacekeeping activities, and other humanitarian aid provision.